Shalom, Shalom. First things first, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And we give thanks to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We say, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. And to Wadi Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us his truth, the knowledge, and the understanding that you've given to our elders and, and set up this truth as a, as a great light, man. The Most High is calling us into this thing out of mercy and, and out of love. Lord willing, we be of the elect and, and, and we make it and to see to see the redemption, man. Because the next world, I say this, the next world, I've been thinking this, man. The next world is not even going to compare to this. You know, that's that's why we, we, we strive the way we do. Yeah, we're in these carnal bodies, but the world that's coming is going to be something marvelous. There's not a word for it. The Most High is, is perfect. So if you have, if he's dual, we know he's dual. How do you make perfect bath water, hot and cold? Okay, we're in the the how you say the bad part of it. We have to show the the understanding of the good and evil. We're in the, what the full evil part of it. But the good that's coming, it's gonna overshadow this bad so much, man. It's gonna make it look like it's gonna make it look ridiculous. Not even to be mentioned. Okay. But we have to go through these things to enter into the kingdom of heaven. So I'm going to start right here with the, we all know of the Georgia Godstones. We all should be familiar of, familiar with them if you're in the truth or in the know. If you watched a lot of, how you say, conspiracy videos, this these Godstones come up. Because they want to keep the population of man to 500, uh, 500 million. And there's approximately about 7 billion people. Okay. So that's showing you that these they want to kill a lot of people. And what does that is disease, man. Biological weapons, okay? So let's re let's play this video and I'll try to edify you brothers the best I can through the power you have by Shimia Shai. Okay? It's not of us, man. It's not of our power. We're weak carnal. Okay. So let's get into this video. See route and you know, say the end of the world is coming. But uh, these scumbags who have uh, erected this thing now have, well, they five years ago they chiseled out this corner, which uh, people noticed. It's like, why did they chisel that out? What are they going to do with it? What is it? Well, I have some bad news. They've now put in what they wanted to put in. 2014, folks. And uh, is this telling us that, you know, this Ebola outbreak is going to be the year of depopulation. I mean, a lot of different things could cause massive depopulation, but that's essentially the, the Georgia Guidestones is about depopulation. It's about Agenda 21. It's about Freemasonry and the New World Order and the Sun God and all that, right? All the things that the Freemasons, the Illuminati are into. But uh, now they have installed this stone. It just happened a few days. I don't know. I don't know if, if people know exactly when it was was put in. But uh, 2014, and of course, with all the Ebola uh, outbreak going on, you know, the corporate media telling us. And uh, I was just talking to Greg on the phone about it, saying, you know what? It's it's my belief. I've been saying this in many podcasts that it's not the Ebola that's going to wipe people out. It's the uh, vaccinations that they're going to force on people that will kill people, whether it be slowly or like they do in Africa or quickly, um, but they are going to, if they do have an outbreak, and they could easily stage an outbreak, and I was talking about this with Greg saying, you know, like, it would be very easy for them to hire their crisis actors, put makeup on them, make them look like they're extremely sick, show them in every city, have Wolf Blitzer, Peter Baldsbridge, uh, Bill O'Reilly, all the scumbags, Rachel Nadkow, all the lying psychopaths in the corporate media go on and on about how you need to get vaccinated, Jake Tapper, Jake Tapper, you know, get vaccinated. Go now. Go, go, go. Right? Here's the lady from the CDC. Get out and get vaccinated. Lady, do you want to tell them more? Because uh, you've only said it a few times. Maybe you should say it more. Get vaccinated. Right? That's, to me, what really will probably wipe out most of... All right, because through those vaccinations, they do insert the, the disease, man. Okay? Because Esau has went into everything, okay? He's able to genetically alter that is called GMOs okay GMOs also fall under the category of these diseases okay this Ebola virus that's coming out 
is a GMO. It is actually patented. It is owned. Just like if you plant a Monsanto seed and you misuse it and Monsanto sues you because you misused their patented seeds, just like this Eboa is patented, okay? It's it, They can design it to outbreak so much. It can be put a time limit on it. It can have, uh, how you say, adverse effects. It can be viral, um, uh, ba bacteria resistant. It can be resistant unto uh, uh, shots. Okay, so that's showing you the, this GM, it's GMO, man. But I was saying earlier that it's not of us, man. We're carnal. We're in these weak bodies, and we have to give all praises to the Most High and His Son for giving us the strength to maintain and to know this truth, man. But let me read this. This is the book of uh, Isaiah 41 and verse uh, 13. 13 is good to start. It says, For I, the Lord, thy power, will hold thy right hand. What is the right hand? It's righteousness. Okay? What is our righteousness coming up right now? Is this truth? The main righteousness is knowing the knowledge and understanding of this truth and having the faith to believe in it, man. Huh? The Most High seal and the elect, if you be a part of that number, this truth is going to seal you. The truth shall set you free. It says, For I, the Lord, thy power, will, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. How is he helping us? You have the... The, you have Nate telling you all oh, don't concentrate to the a part of knowing these conspiracies is him helping us did he not say he's going to make their tongues to fall upon themselves verse 14 fear not thy worm Jacob and ye men of Israel I will help thee you men see that the men is who he's going to help so these women out here talking about oh you, you better get down with a chosen man because he's going to be the one that's going to be helped, man. And you might get the trickle blessings off of that. Fear not, thy worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. For I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, and beat them small, and shalt make the hills chaff. And that's the time we're coming to, man. The Most High is getting ready to transfer transform us from these 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 wormly bodies into a new sharp threshing instrument and that's going to take place in our lifetime man the most high is it, we're worm now but we're spiritually strong it says the outer man dieth every day but the inner man is strengthened man the inner man is getting strengthened and that's the spirit that's the spirit that's in us man the most high is going to uh, invert it He's going to take the, the spirit, the strengthened spirit that's been getting stronger and stronger through these prophecies and he's going to pull it to the outside and he's going to make that weak nature be subside under the spiritual side, man. And he's going to make us and he's going to, that's what I'm saying, we don't have no idea what's coming to us, man. None of us have seen a sharp threshing instrument as of the days of old, man, with King David and his mighty man. We haven't seen them yet. They're coming back, man. We, we they, Those men are coming back and they're here, man. They're just waiting for the Most High to flip that light switch in their bodies and to turn them into a new, sharp, threshing instrument, man. But the, mo the Most High is showing us is that, that these elites, they're planning something in 2014. That's why they're putting this block here. So we don't have much time, Akiyam. We don't have much time. We're at the cuspus of this thing. That's why the Lord has been, has been moving this thing. He's been moving it because he wants to set up the kingdom. So I'm going to set up a, a Lord willing, I'll post a link for y'all to go and look at it to show you that they have some plan for 2014. The population and of course the rest of us that are left, hey, it'll be easy. Bring in those UN soldiers and, you know, just bash down people's doors and, you know, blow them away or whatever. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I hope it's it's not what, what it could be. I hope that... Uh, the end isn't in the cards and they're not telling us that this is the year that it's all going to happen but uh, i thought i should report on it either way so uh tell me what you think if you got more information all right that's it on that let's jump into the next one to show you this war war three is coming all right see war is red hot at the currency war is red hot at the moment with weekly reports of china in particular fueling the rhetoric 
of ending the U.S. dollar hegemony. Russia has also been very active at this talk, stating that they will be diversifying out of the U.S. dollar and into safer investments. Mm. They have been partnering with China as the sanctions simply push them further away from the West. Slowly but surely, the BRICs are increasing in strength and the dollar begins to weaken. This monetary system is far overdue for a change. Let's get into the news right away. China is looking to dominate the gold market. Change. Let's get into the news right away. China is looking to dominate the gold market. With See, Satan. Satan, Satan. It's okay, we'll refresh the video. The currency war is red hot at the moment, with weekly reports of China in particular fueling the rhetoric of ending the U.S. dollar hegemony. Russia has also been very active at this talk, stating that they will be diversifying out of the U.S. dollar and into safer investments. They have been partnering with China as the sanctions simply push them further away from the West. Slowly but surely, the BRICs are increasing in strength and the dollar begins to weaken. This monetary system is far overdue for a change. Let's get into the news right away. China is looking to dominate the gold market with International Shanghai Gold Exchange. This is huge news right now. I'll get into the highlighted portion where it says, The People's Bank of China has been given the Shanghai Gold Exchange permission to begin to build an international gold trading platform in Shanghai. This news is absolutely massive when you think about it where you have the largest gold producing and consuming nation China now able to have this international gold trading platform that is massive this is going to change the way the gold market is totally perceived because you know you had that gold fix the London gold fix and they knew specifically that this was a fraud the way that the numbers were being priced just All like right. the whole because right now China is jumping to what is actually money, man. They're tired of using this uh, fiat currency because they want to go into the real money. They know that this dollar is about to drop, so they've been buying up gold like madmen. China, over the years, over the past years, have been investing and in, in buying in gold, silver, and real resources. They've been taking the money that the United States owes them, or they've been giving them treasury bonds and it's been purchasing and, and investing in gold. So let's get this to prove that uh, what is real money. This is Genesis 13 and 2. And it says that Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. See that? That's real money. That's the real riches. So who's really rich and sitting on a, on a, on a, on a stability platform? The, the major rich is the Rothschilds and these elite bankers and these elite families of the world, man. But the major, you got China as a, a, a major country because they've been storing up gold. So let's get back into it. LIBOR scandal. They came together, they sit down, and they decide, what are we going to set the price at? And they just make it up. It's a fraud. So now, at least the rhetoric is there for them to be pricing their own uh, gold and other things who knows down the road what they're planning on so this article here is out of the Nasdaq Russia to consider diversifying away from Western debt securities massive news once again this is the currency war that is taking place where the US dollar has the strength it has all the money basically being funneled into it by its own consumers by foreigners and here we are right now Russia considering diversifying its debt portfolio away from the countries that have imposed sanctions on Moscow and that's the finance minister saying this is not just some analyst not just me that is the finance minister saying that nations like Australia Canada the EU Japan and the UK the US they've all put sanctions on Russia and Russia's saying you know what why are we even dealing with you people we have 
the countries like China and the other BRIC nations who we're good partners with. Let's deal with them instead. So let's move on. Okay, because now if you watch the news and you've been watching updates, China and Russia have just signed one of the biggest oil deals uh, between those two countries in a long time. They've signed a very big, big oil deal, okay? I can't, I don't want to give you the wrong number of the, the, the exact money that they signed, but it was a very large deal. So now what are they going to be trading in? In gold and silver, in their oil. And gold and silver is way above what, I think gold right now is probably about, maybe between about, i say about, maybe, I don't really want to give the exact, I want to prove it. So in, in post-production, if I have the video or something to put in there, I will. But you're just going to go look up gold. Gold is around, I know, 1200 above that 13 maybe 1400 right now okay it's it's high but when they're trading in gold that's going to reduce the influence of the dollar in the world because there's two major players that have been fueling our economy and keeping the american dollar propped up it quickly when i wrote about in my book you could see this it's not just russia and china even the brazilian finance minister said that when the fed started printing money to buy up its own treasuries it said that they were quote engaging in a currency war that's his words the brazilian finance minister and even the chinese premier a few years back said that the fed's policy would result in financial instability and asset bubbles and what has it done it's exactly what it's done created these asset bubbles everywhere look at the stock market but it hasn't changed one thing and that is the super rich rush to buy italian job quote style bars and this right here, the economic uncertainties trigger a rush for the 12 and a half kilo gold bars. Each of them are worth 300,000 pounds. This is huge, <laughs> big bars right there. So right here we have this news. The number of 12 and a half kilo gold bars are being bought by the wealthy cons customers and has increased by 243% <laughs> Like so I said, I can read it again. And it says... Uh, Genesis 13 and 2 and Abraham was very rich in cattle in silver and in gold so these super rich they're buying up these gold bars man these these big body gold bars because and they're taking them and they're storing them man for this year that's big the rich the real rich want that security want that safety they want diversification as well so they put their money in these big bars and they store them in uh, vaults all around the world and you know they're saying the, the Italian job style bars they're the big ones the individual the standard individual generally does not ever buy these type of things so you know that the rich those who are on the inside are buying the big bars and that's very telling information this is the out of the New York Times and basically showing you the difference between the per capita GDP over the past couple decades but then you look at the median household income and there's a great disparity that has been growing ever since approximately the year 2000. You can see that for yourself. The household income hasn't gone anywhere. In fact, it's gone down over the past few years. But the GDP numbers do not correspond. That's what I'm trying to tell you right here, that they keep pushing this GDP number over and over and over again. But it has no reality when it comes down to the median household income. Big, big news. And that's a currency war on your own self from your government to you. That's the way that works. This is the total market capitalization of the NYSE, all the way from 1925. So you can see this uh, from the very beginning here. Look how it's practically in a straight line up. You know, there's points where it goes down and, and so on and so forth. But you can see the market cap, you know, it's been increasing. But look at that total market cap divided by the gross federal debt. And when you see those, things are much different at this point because you can see it's gone nowhere speaking of debt look at this right here a debt needed to create one dollar of gdp you can see this for yourself the reality of the situation is that they continuously have to go into more and more debt in order to prop everything up the gdp goes up when they go into more debt also this is a factor with the whole federal reserve you look at their assets you look at their balance sheet so-called assets their balance sheet is increasing directly proportional to the stock market's increase as soon as they stop printing the money if they ever do they may do it behind the scenes and they raise interest rates you're going to have a crash in the economy the economy cannot stand without the fed that's just the way it is 
This right here is going to show you the fragility of this market, where there is risk, there is fragility, where there is fragility, there's going to be a crash, a crisis. These are thousands of different, hundreds of different stocks that basically right on the, this is on the 19th, showing you right at 350. They just go wild. These are the algorithms. These are your totally fraudulent markets that have no basis on reality. And here they are, people are investing, they're putting their whole life savings into it, they're putting their whole career into it, and they're going to try to show you that, hey, it's all fine, it's, you know, they'll take care of it. Whenever there's a bad scenario, they're worried. If there's anything with my bank, the FDIC. <laughs> hey, man, this, there's no more knowledge in teaming. <laughs> Most high, look at that. You, if you're an investor, okay, you, hey, man, I'm not an investor. I don't got money to be investing in nothing, okay? I'm day-to-day I'm -day living, man my daily bread okay this this right here is uh how you say madness if you are an investor and you put any kind of money in here you're crazy you might as well go buy lottery tickets man <laughs> okay this is the book of jeremiah 49 and 16. it says thy terribleness has deceived thee and the pride of thy heart O thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks that holdest the high highest of the hill though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Lord. And what's the main, hey, the Most High is taking this place piece by piece, man. He built it piece by piece, and he's taking it down piece by piece. Like a Lego set. Lego set, those pieces got to click, man. Okay, they got to click, and they build up off each other. So now the Most High is taking this place down by, by piece by piece, and there, it's a, uh, how you say, it's a domino effect. Most High is making it like a domino effect because there's no more knowledge in the money place. The money's going down. So that goes with the economy. That goes into the meats will fill it. It's a, a domino effect. We'll take care of it. I have insurance. Don't worry about it. And in the worst case scenario, the Federal Reserve will just step in and pump up all this money. But the fact remains is that these markets are all fake. They're all fraudulent. Look at the algorithms. Look at these computer algorithms that are just designed to screw everything up. Look at this, this is crazy. And anyway, I've ranted enough in this video, the currency war is on. All right, with that, with that, I'm gonna say all praise to you. How about Shimmy Al Shai, Double Honest Tales at GMS. Much love to you brothers on the four corners of the planet. Keep faith, Shalom.